even though I was coming up here by myself, I wasn't really too concerned because um, it's not really a big walk. It's only it's around about 20 metres, 20 minutes. So I'm a bit out of breath, sorry, because um, I've just walked up here. But, um, yeah. Make sure you bring some water, a long pair of trousers, and a good pair of walking shoes, and probably be best to bring somebody else with you too. In case you need to you just about um, land a helicopter up here anyway if you really needed to but it's, I'm not going to go too far to the edge because um, it's a bit scary I'm, I'm not the best at hikes but I tell you what it was well worth it out that way uh, where I'm pointing now is Narrabri here is um, Bri Mines I think that's a mine they're doing and over that way is um, Bogabri it's only about 5 k's away and then um, Canada, then on to Tamworth and New England. It's going to be windy up here, but it's not so cold. It's, it's not cold at all. You think it's going to be chilly up here, but no, it's not at all. Oh, and it's just up here, it's, I don't know, it's, it's not some sort of plaque. It's just like a, um, it's some sort of post there. I don't think there's anything written on there. Not even any, really any graffiti on there. Um, it's just got geological survey written on there um, central mapping authority so obviously it's something official somebody just hasn't plonked this up here and there's also some sort of shoot here which i think it's like a little time capsule if you come up here or something just to put something in there maybe a bit of graffiti over it there's my trusty water bottle there I can't really come up here without water but yeah no it's a fantastic view um, I just can't believe how easy a climb it really was though, really, and I haven't really done anything for about the last month or so, you know what I mean, so, and I'm 50, nearly 53 years old, so, it's not too bad of an effort, um, which way's down now, uh, I think it's that away, oh well, oh. plenty of daylight left, so as I said, you can always land a helicopter up here, so it's, it's no big deal, um, plenty of phone coverage, so if you're up here or anything in the nursery, just ring triple zero and tell us in a helicopter, how to pick you up. Uh, anyway, I'm going to have a bit of a rest now, take a couple of selfies, and um, have a bit of a drink, and then I'll head back down. And it shouldn't take me long to get right down to the bottom there where my car is. I'd like to take a photo of my car, but um, I'm not going to get right to the edge. Um, yeah, well, that's about it anyway. But if you're near the Bogabri area, definitely drop in and see Jim's Leap. Jim's Leap. It is fantastic. I think they're going to change the name to some sort of Aboriginal thing because it's actually two Aboriginal people actually love us. Um, apparently jumped off this um, village over here. So um, shielded by Aboriginal tribal men because they want it done, didn't want them to get married or something like that. So that's in the Australian colonial past many, many years ago. Um, there's a couple of old graves down there if you want to have a look at them. But um, yeah, if you're out this way um, on a Calamori Highway, um, definitely drop by and have a look. Gin's Leap, 2015.